Hello everyone and welcome to Solving Problems in My Farm. My name is Carla Garcia, Hort America's Technical Service and Consultant. And today we're going to learn about how to select light fixtures when starting a vertical farm. So today in here, I have different options of lighting. So you can see in here, we have different spectrums. We have different types of lights. And uh, that's uh, like a really good question when you are starting a project. Uh, how to put your investment, uh, your capital investment on the project. So let's discuss a little bit about the lighting options and why here in this plant factory I have this type of lamps. So let me start by showing you the lamps that I like the most in my system. So this is a Rice Life 2 from uh, Verdure. So Verdure is a section of uh, the big company that is called Aquity. So Aquity is a big company of lighting and Verdure is the section of uh, the lamps that are designed for horticulture. So these are the lights that are recommended for vertical farming systems. And these lamps uh, come with with uh, different accessories that are very important when you are working inside of an enclosed system. So one of the first questions when you start a project like this one is how much to invest on lights. So I will share you my honest experience. I have now seven years working in this facility and I have used like all the kind of lamps that you can imagine. Uh, and this is because uh, when, I, uh, when I started, I was just getting out of grad school. I have the knowledge because I did my my um, degree on uh, plant plant science. However, um, I didn't have that much money at the beginning to invest on lighting, so I I was looking for a cheap way to start. So I started with uh, you know like regular white LEDs that we still have those inside of the facility because we teach some short courses and we want the people to see the effects of different lights. Um, but I have to say uh, those lights, the the big problem with those lights is the lifespan. As I mentioned, I have seven years working in here and uh, usually regular white LED lamps will not last that long. Um, so that is a big issue because you need to invest. I know these lamps are not that high cost, but uh, still, uh, I mean, you need to replace the lamps and you also, of course, you need to think about the operations. In one, if one lamp stops working, then you need to go and buy another one and that, I mean, it's wasting time, wasting money, and also, you know, your or, or all the effort that you're putting into your project, you can get like distracted by uh, how much time your light is going to be able to work. Um, so when I started using uh, the Rice Life 2, um, that was like many years ago. Actually, I have different uh, different uh, light spectrums in here. You can you can notice. So these ones in here, these lamps are more than five years all now and they are still working like really nice so they are still working with the same light intensity and uh, you know this kind of environment uh, is high humidity and we do manual irrigation in here so sometimes uh, the lamps can get you know a little bit wet and also because of the relative humidity that we have inside of the system so that's very important also for a light that is uh, not covering all those, those characteristics I mean the lamps that are not developed for this kind of environment. So the Rice Life 2 uh, has like really nice connections that you can connect. And uh, then uh, you you don't need to worry about having too much humidity or, you know, like uh, from, uh, I would say 50 to 70% humidity. I mean, that's totally fine for these lamps and it's secure uh, for other type of lamps uh, sometimes there are some small openings uh, where uh, the humidity can can go in or even water and and that is I mean something that would put uh, in a danger your facility I mean you can cause an accident inside or even just uh, the lamp will stop working uh, more uh, more fast uh, and this is because uh, it will affect the function inside of the lamp so uh, that's why I use these kind of lamps inside and there is way more explanation uh, around um, using lights that are developed for horticultural pur purposes and not only that but lamps that are designed to uh, reduce your electric cost uh, this is something really important I mean there are different brands right now 
brands are competing, good brands are competing for uh, develop more efficient lamps. So uh, uh, Berger is also working on that. So uh, the, the efficiency of the lamps is usually higher than you know regular like sheet LEDs that you can find that are developed sometimes for horticulture purposes. But uh, in, in that case, uh, the quality of the lamp is important in terms of the efficiency that you can get from the lamp. And when we speak about efficiency, we can speak about, you know, the electric components that can make your lamp to uh, waste less energy. And also we can speak about the spectrum. So the spectrum, which are the colors of the lamps are really important uh, because you need to deliver the correct colors in order to, de to develop your plant. You know, uh, there are specific colors like red and blue that are important for photosynthesis. So if you compare using use white LEDs in comparison to a lamp that has blue and red, for example, like the ones over here, so you will have a more efficient lamp because you are providing the colors that are more important for photosynthesis. So in this case, your plant will be working more uh, in uh, probably a comparison on light intensity when we, me when we measure in a different unit that don't take in consideration uh, the spectrum, for example, let's say a luxus. Um, uh, if we measure in luxus, sometimes we can have the same luxus under white LEDs and white and red LEDs. But if you convert that to PPF, which is the unit that will tell you the amount of light that the plant is receiving based on the spectrum, uh, based on PAR, which is the photosynthetic active radiation, you will learn that the light intensity is higher under uh, blue and red LEDs, meaning that these lamps are more efficient. So again, there are multiple, multiple uh, explanations on why these kind of lamps can be better for your system. And I know sometimes the investment is higher, but if you ask me, it's totally worth it. You have here some lamps that are more than five years old and they have have not provided me any problem at all in comparison to the regular white LEDs that we keep inside because we want people to learn about the difference because you can tell also the difference I mean the color the development of the microgreens is a little bit different under white LEDs um, so that's why we uh, still have these so people can come and learn which is uh, part important for also Hort Americas uh, but yeah I mean we have to replace those lamps uh, very often so uh, those are some of the advantages of the use uh, of high quality lamps inside of vertical farming systems you know when you are starting a business uh, one of the most important um, decisions are your op your operational expenses and your capital expenses so decide smart about uh, the capital expenses about how you are investing in your project in order to reduce your operational expenses so i hope you enjoy this video and find this information useful you know if you like this video please uh, comment subscribe share so more people can learn about uh, vertical farming systems and uh, remember my name is carla garcia hort america's technical service and consultant uh, see you on the next video